Welcome to Life in My Shoes, Season 3, Episode 13. This episode, I'm going to do something a little bit different, <coughs> kind of, sort of different. This is one of the topics that I had hoped to be able to do at one point on the vlog, um, and I hope to be able to do more of. <coughs> but today, what I wanted to do is to do a uh, kind of like a product review of some recent purchases, some not so recent, uh, but a couple items that I use almost on a daily basis. So th specifically, we're going to talk about three things today, and two of them are technology items. So without further ado, let's talk about number one. Number one is a purchase that's probably of the three of these is the most recent purchase. So as I've mentioned, uh, either on the podcast or the blog or previously on the vlog, uh, I have uh, resumed to commuting into work on a daily basis from nearly two years working at home. I do spend uh, probably around 10 hours a week on the Atlanta roads to and from work. Uh, no, no worries there. I enjoy it. I enjoy being in the office. But one thing I wanted to do was be hands-free in the car. <clears throat> also, I thought, let's make an investment that I can use for something other than the car. So I purchased a pair of wireless Bluetooth earbuds. So these specifically are the, the Tessin uh, I believe it's Tessin Wireless version 4.1. I've seen it read, said in other places it's the Tessin T890. So let me tell you a little bit about this technology that I have. First off, I'm demonstrating is that the uh, earbuds have a magnetic clip. So I can clip them, and I what I do is basically during the day at work, I wear them around my neck. Uh, I do listen to them at my at my desk. Um, sometimes I, or, well, frequently I will use them in the car so that I'm hands-free if I receive a call. Uh, additionally, uh, when I purchased these, they were around $35 on Amazon. And I, I didn't want to make a, a huge investment in something uh, without, you know, in Bluetooth headphone technology without kind of dabbling first. And I, I did this with my smartwatch. When I first bought a smartwatch, I bought a cheaper one to dabble in it, to see how I would use it, to see what I thought. And then eventually I might invest in a, eventually I invested in a better smartwatch and eventually I might invest in a better set of Bluetooth earbuds. Um, but, uh, they were around $35. I paid a dollar on Amazon for, uh, insurance on it. So, if something were to happen for that dollar, they will replace these. So I'd have to send them back and get a new set. I thought that was a pretty decent uh, investment. A um, couple perks of them. They come with uh, different size earbuds. I have put on smaller uh, smaller covers on the earbuds. Uh, they are clearly marked right and left. They do fit pretty snugly in the ear. Uh, the sound quality is good. Uh, I have no complaints. I've listened to both music, audiobooks, podcasts. Uh, taking calls uh, on them, and they've done a good job of that. I've had no complaints from those that, that are on the other end of those calls when I'm wearing these as well. So uh, as you can see right here is where your, your speaker is and your controls. So it's uh, pretty close to uh, to your mouth. So if you, you can imagine if you have this, if I have this in my uh, right ear, you can see it dangles down pretty close. So uh, good sound quality, uh, good uh, volume control. Not only does uh, this have the microphone, but it has your volume control up and down. It has your power button in the middle and syncing. It has a charging port uh, right on this side here. It's pretty tiny. Uh, you can't really see that. Um, but all in all, they, I, I've, I've liked them. They've been very functional. Um, they were easy to, to pair. Uh, so really no difficulty in pairing them with my uh, cell phone. And um, my my complaints, um, which I, you know aren't aren't many, um, but I, I wish that the battery life was a little longer. Uh, so it is not uncommon for me to uh, to wear them on the way to work, um, wear them for a little while during work, and then have to charge them again before I head home. So I think. Uh, 
from Amazon. I think they said it was a five hour charge. I've not pushed it, um, but it is always uh, at the worst time when my battery starts to go. When you start getting warned, you're you're very near the end. Um, the other complaint is I mentioned this uh, little port here for charging, and I'll take it out so you can see it. My second complaint is I think this is a little flimsy and uh, will break uh, eventually. Now, the problem with that is, is that these are supposed to be for uh, working out as well. So that would be problematic when you have uh, sweat, et cetera. And I am hoping to get back to working out in the next uh, couple weeks. So I will possibly be using these in the gym, um, maybe on the trails, unless I'm running with someone or on the streets, unless I'm running with someone. Uh, and I only wear uh, earbuds when I'm running in an environment where there are no cars or where I'm protected, for example, on sidewalks, etc. So that's product number one. This is a new purchase for the price of $35 plus 99 cents insurance. I thought it was a good purchase. I think I'm seeing on Amazon that the price has gone up. They are near $40 now, $38.99. Um, I probably would go with a, uh, I would try to find a, a, a different brand to go with, uh, if I was going to start spending that kind of money on them. But for 35 ish and under, I think it's a good purchase. Thumbs up on this product. Product number two. Uh, as you may know, or you may not know, I don't know. I can't remember if I've talked about this, but I have uh, a love of caffeine. And primarily, I enjoy that coffee. Uh, and primarily, I enjoy coffee iced. Um, but I'm not a discriminator. I will enjoy a, a Mountain Dew or an iced tea. I do live in the South, although I don't drink Southern sweet. I usually drink it lightly sweetened. Uh, but because I like my beverages cold, uh, I, I also do not like a small drink. I like to be able to have a large drink. Um, as a result, my wife bought these. These are, this is product number two. This is a reduced insulated mug. So she bought a, a two pack. She got these at Costco for about 20 bucks. Um, from everything I'm seeing, that is a pretty good, pretty good price. Uh, Amazon, I'm seeing, uh, something comparable for about 26 bucks. They are listed at 30 ounce cups, uh, which is what this is. This is a 30 ounce cup. In all honesty, I would have thought it was more because it generally can fit, uh, like a Chick fil A 32 ounce tea in this and have some excess room. So I would have thought this was closer to 34 ounces, uh, but it says it's a 32 ounce. So let me tell you a little bit about this. So when my wife bought it, it came in a two pack, as I mentioned, 20 bucks Costco. So that's not figuring in the sub subscription to Costco, but uh, a good deal. Uh, it came in a two pack and it came with this one that had the, the uh, blue transition. And the other one is a different color, which is really good in a household where uh, we both use these pretty regularly. And, um, so the blue one has become mine. The gray one is hers. So it makes it easy to distinguish between them uh, beyond the fact that mine has coffee stains on it. Um, so my, as I mentioned, my primary use is, usage is for cold liquids. I'm, I'm not a, a big a hot coffee drinker. I do enjoy, I, I like coffee, so I'm not a discriminator. I will drink hot coffee. Um, I generally drink it cold. So and all my other beverages cold. So uh, this does a great job of keeping the liquids cold. Uh, and I have had no complaints. So I have put uh, left a cup of ice out unrefrigerated overnight, woke up and there still is ice in there, a good bit of ice. Um, I have put uh, drinks with ice in them in this cup in the fridge overnight. And obviously it was fine. Um, it has a, a, a good seal. So it seals on there pretty good. There's really no leaking around there. It has a uh, an O-ring around the seal that easily comes off and can be cleaned. So really no complaints there. It easily comes off, can be complained, uh, cleaned under there. Uh, the lid itself has uh, two ways that you can drink from it. There is a straw hole in the middle, um, which has a cover. If you're not using the straw, you can pop that in. And then there's a drink hole. Uh, right here that is covered with this and you can pop that down 
and that gets out of the way. You can pop the, uh, the straw in and you can drink out of it that way. Um, I use it both ways. Um, because my dentist recommends that I drink with a straw to prevent stain on my teeth, especially with coffee and tea, I generally uh, do the straw. Weird. If you think it's weird drinking coffee through a straw, uh, I think you're weird for uh, for thinking it's weird. Um, uh, it is the lid is dishwasher safe, which that's nice. Um, but I always have a drink in it, so it's it's hard to get it washed. So I often end up washing it by hand just so I can have the cup with me the next time. The cup is not uh, dishwasher safe. Um, so that's that's kind of the bummer, but uh, understandable. Uh, as I mentioned, I my gut felt that this was about 34 ounces. It actually says it's 30 ounces. Uh, you know, obviously it's, it is 30 ounces. It feels like it's more. Um, so... You know, that's, that's a plus, uh, the, the quantity I prefer 32 ounces or more for my cups. Uh, a couple of complaints, uh, about this product, um, and they're minor, uh, really minor and they're specific to me. So first off, uh, the first one's not specific to me, but it's understandable, uh, is the cup is, uh, not dishwasher safe. So that's a bummer. Uh, I wish the cup was dishwasher safe. We could throw the whole thing in, make life easier. Uh, the second one is this cup does not fit in my small cup holder in my Honda Civic. Um, I have two cup holders. Unfortunately, the one that this fits in is also the cup holder. It's on the side that has my uh, cigarette lighter. And so it has chargers and cables in it all the time. So because of those cables and that charger, it prevents me from using that cup holder. So I have to use the small one. This is too big to fit that. A Chick-fil-A cup will fit into that. So I've had to take to putting this in a back seat uh, cup holder, which is right behind my armrest. Um, so those are my two complaints. I love this. I, I, I literally, I do use this every day. This is a... Um, 24 seven usage. Uh, it's hard to find time to get it cleaned, but, um, that's an everyday usage. So product number two, thumbs up. Product number three, uh, you'll see I'm using, uh, the Bluetooth earbuds to record the audio for this segment. Um, product number three, as I've mentioned in the past, that my family is a, a Chromebook family. Um, our primary computers are Chromebooks. We have four of them in the house. We're a big Google family. We use Google Docs, Google Play, Google Movies, Google Books. You name it, we use it. They have all of our information already, so we're we're pretty well ingrained in the Google world. So one of the more recent Chromebooks we purchased was mine and we'll flip it this way it's an asus two-in-one flip um, screen <coughs> touch screen so it can be used as a tablet or a laptop and um and i've really enjoyed it uh it's been a good purchase i uh, purchased it as an open box uh, a long time ago not a long time ago um, I would say um, about a um, a year and a half ago, maybe two years. So um, obviously, since I'm holding the phone, it's hard to, to do this, but you can see uh, here. Um, <coughs> it is, I'm, I won't go into the specifics about it. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of detail. So it is a 10, I believe a 10.6 uh, in size, which I would say is a little bit smaller. Uh, it, I won't say it. It is a little bit smaller than a traditional Chromebook. Um, it uh, is a, a traditional Chrome experience. It is a touch screen where the uh, the screen actually flips. So you have kind of the, the experience of having the tablet-like experience uh, of the uh, Chromebook. So I can flip it. I don't, I don't really use it that way often. And one of the reasons you're seeing me look over here is one of the reasons I don't use it. And I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but I do like the capability of the touch screen uh, with the traditional keyboard attached. Um, 
<coughs> I have made a couple additional purchases for this product to help support it. One was a screen cover. Since it is a touch screen, since it is designed to be uh, used in a tablet-like fashion, I wanted to protect the screen um, from scratches, fingerprints, etc. Um, so I have a protective screen cover on it that I bought off of Amazon. I also have a silicon uh, keyboard cover. So you kind of see that. Um, and that just sets over the keyboard, um, sets over the keys. It, it doesn't adhere. There's no stickiness to it. Um, it will sometimes will will stick uh, to it, but um, that kind of gets to that whole point of when I flip it, um, sometimes this uh, keyboard protector will fall off. Um, in, all in all, it's a, a pretty traditional uh, Chromebook experience. Uh, my, my complaints are as such, uh, one, even though I knew the size of the product, um, it, it feels small. The longer I've used it, the more I recognize how small it is and how um, it probably is a little too small. I would prefer a traditional, at a minimum, a traditional size Chromebook, which I think is an 11.6 or something like that. Um, but there are bigger ones, 15.6, I think there's 13.6. Um, there are bigger ones, the new uh, the Pixel, the new uh, Samsung Pro, I think it is, uh, Chromebook Pro. Those are all bigger, and I would and, and have the touchscreen and have the flip capacity. I would I would love to have one of those or a Microsoft Surface. Um, uh, the second thing is, and this is true of any uh, any flip that is functions like this, is it feels like the keyboard is pretty unprotected when uh, you flip it to use it in tablet mode. So that kind of prevents me from using it. Also, my my uh, keyboard cover falls off 70% uh, of the time when I flip it. Uh, and so I don't want to have to track it like that. And um, I will say it's uh, pretty solid. Uh, it is uh, very compact. It is um, nice, uh, a nice package. It is pretty solid. There's uh, not a lot of uh, empty space you can feel in the case. So that's nice. It, um, I've heard that referred to as solid state. Um, but it is a nice, uh, tight package. Uh, the, again, the functionality is pretty traditional Chromebook functionality. So this is product number three. So here are these three products that I've advertised or really reviewed, um, kind of advertised, that I use on a daily basis. And I l literally do use almost each of them daily. The cup is a 24-7. Uh, the earbuds are usually on Monday to Friday. Uh, I have taken to wearing them when I mow the yard, which I had to do the first one of last weekend. Um, the Chromebook, I uh, do use it almost every day. Um, and uh, for, you know, everything that you would use a computer for. So for surfing, email, video, reading, uh, you name it, games, you name it, um, I use it for that. So what are three products or more than three, what are some products that you use every day uh, that you would say, these are products that I really, I would recommend these to people uh, and here's how I use them. Let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and a like, and I'll talk to you next week about some other exciting topic. Thanks. Bye.